verse 27. Come on. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, that, uh, that I am in the midst of Israel. God said, you're going to know that I'm in the midst of Israel, Reed. And that I am the Lord, your God, uh -huh. and none else. Explain that. Read that again. I think they zoned out for a second. We're going we're gonna to bring them back, though. Read that again. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Pay attention. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Come on. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. He says he's the God of Israel and none else. Explain that, brothers. This is the Bible you believe in, right? Is God a liar? So he's, I'm sorry? So he says that, read that again. If you believe that, huh? Say that again? What scripture is that? What scripture is that? One at, one at a time, one at a time. So the question, so what I'm trying to say is, so when Jesus comes back, he say he's coming back for the Jews. He's no, back no. Israel. He's no, coming back for back Israel. Israel. Watch this. Pharaoh. Give me Revelations 22. I want you to show me where Gentiles fit in this. Revelations 22. You know what? Start at 21 first. Pharaoh. Revelations 21. Pharaoh. Start at verse, what is it? 14? 12. Listen, brothers. This is where attention span comes in. Read. Revelation. Hey, brother. Brother, it's going to be all right, man. Calm down. We all right. We're going we gonna to be all right. Boy, Dallas, boy. Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. Come on. And had a wall great and high, Great. and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels. So this is the kingdom of heaven being described, brothers, right? Come on. It said it was 12 gates. Read on. And names written thereof. On each gate there was a name written, right? Read. Which are the names? Of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. That's right. If you here, we have twelve gates: Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Naphtali. Right? What gate does a Gentile go through? Huh? Who's we? Who? Listen, listen. You can be a Gentile today. I'm an Israelite. That's right. I got a gate. My gate's right here. Right. What right. gate are the Gentiles going to go through? Hold on. We don't, I, listen, have I answered all your questions you asked me? Okay, so be, bear with me. I got to do one at a time. I'm still trying to deal with your John 3.16. So just be patient. We're going to get there. Again, what gate does a Gentile go through? Who said, what scripture says that? Give me that. You got a scripture, brother? We'll deal with your scripture. While you reading that, give me Revelation 22. Revelation 22, start at verse uh, 14. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gate into the city. These gates that you want to get through is through the gate that you belong through. It says that you may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Read. For without. Meaning the ones that are outside. Read. Are dogs. Are what? Are dogs. What did Jesus call that Kenyanite woman? A what? A dog. Why? Because she was the tribe of Judah. Why did he call her a dog? She was not the tribe of Judah. Thank you. Hold on, brother. Hold on. You're going, you're going 60 miles an hour. Hold on. Listen. Hold on for a second. Don't break. See, here we go. Wait for a second before we bring it, bring them in. We, you, I know you want to introduce them, but we got to we got to do it in a timely manner. First thing, right here it says the ones that's not gonna that's gonna be outside are dogs. He called this Kenyanite woman who confessed that he. Was, hold on, listen. She said, "Lord, thou son of David." She confessed that he was the Messiah. Right? She said, "Lord, thou son of David, my daughter's grievously vexed with the devil. Help." He said. Hold on, we're going to get that. No, this one. Right now, we're in Revelations, chapter 22. The Samaritan woman is John 4. Right. Again, he told this woman, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He then called her a dog. Why? Because he, they refer to all the other nations as dogs. Right. So watch this. Let's go to where he wants to go to. Give me John 4. Bring it out. Because that's actually a good point. The Samaritan woman. You might have me right there. The Samaritan woman that was there at the well with Jesus Christ, right? 
Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Let's go there. John chapter 4. Start at verse... No, no, let's get to the beginning. Give me verse 3. John chapter 4 verse 3. He left Judea and departed into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaria. So he left, through, went through Galilee, and he had to go into Samaria. Read on. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the wall, and it was about the sixth hour. Then cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy me. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me? So he's, she's asking Christ, How is it that you, being a Jew, you asking me for a drink? Why wouldn't he be talking to her? She said, How is it you asking me for something, right? She was not a Jew. You're absolutely right. right. But you got to let go of your definition that you've created about Jew. Talking about all of Israel. Because all the Israelites was not known as Jews. It was only three tribes. Watch this. And this proves exactly what we've been trying to tell you. Read on. Which am a woman of Samaria. For the Jews have Hold on, hold on. Listen, brother, brother. Look here, bro. Hey, bro. Listen to me. So that they'll keep listening. My man right here. My man. So that they'll keep listening. Let's, let's let him stay focused, all right? Read. Which am a woman of Samaria, uh -huh. for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Come on. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who is it that saith to thee, Give me to drink, uh -huh. thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. So this Jesus Christ told her, listen, if you knew who I was, I would have I could give you everlasting life, right? To this woman who you believe to be a Gentile, right? Read. The woman Hold on, what is a Gentile, by the way? Somebody who's not an Israelite, right? Okay, that's what Wait, read on. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Who's talking right now? The Samaritan woman, right? Read. Art thou greater than our father Jacob? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That don't sound right. This woman who was Samaritan said, Are you greater than our father Jacob? Who was Jacob, brother? He was right. So... This woman was, uh, Jacob was her father. So what is she? A descendant, yes. No, everybody's not a descendant of Abraham. Listen, brother, we're going we, we to work through this, okay? Because the, the problem that we have is, is a miseducation. Those are nations. The woman that we're talking about in Matthew 15 was a descendant of Canaan. That's who we were just talking about. That means Canaan had children. Canaan was the son of Ham. Read you know what I want? Start up at verse 10. I'm sorry, 1. Genesis chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, read. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The word said that there was sons born unto them after the flood. So was there people that came from them? Okay, cool. We've so we've established that now, right? Okay, go back. Again, this woman said, "Are you greater than our father Jacob? How could this woman be a descendant of Jacob? She was an Israelite. What you don't know about Samaria is that the Samaritans were Israelites. They were not other nations. They were called that because they dwelt in the land of Samaria. A lot of times, Christians come here." Yes, Israel got split up. So guess who came to bring us back together? That's the adoption that we're talking about, is Christ. Exactly. No, sir. You're, wait, hold on. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying, no, listen. I said Israel got split up. 
the Israelites were the only ones that was given the promise of the kingdom. Exactly. Absolutely, the Bible just said that. Exactly. But I'm asking you a question. So do you believe that the only people that can make it in are those people that came from Israel, that came from the Israelites? When you say make it in, what do you mean make it in? Make it into heaven. No, the other nations going to be in heaven, but they're going to be slaves. That's right. That's right. Don't say that's not because y'all just have about three, four points that got proven wrong. Right. Everything that you said, we've gone to the scripture to show different. Let's see what the Bible says about the slaves. Give me Isaiah 60. Listen to me. Now watch this. This is where the destroyed mind comes in, brothers. You think, oh no, they can't be our slaves. That's wrong. You a slave right now. Right. The Most High chose us to be above all nations, all peoples. Give me that Isaiah 60. Start at verse 12. Watch this. Now again, you believe in the Bible? Okay. Read. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12 Come on. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee Serve who? No, 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 start at 9 Verse 9 Surely the isles shall wait for me And the ships of Tarshish first Read. To bring thy sons from far Their silver and their gold with them Unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel, because He hath glorified thee. Come on. And the, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. God said the sons of strangers are going to build up thy walls. Read. And their kings shall minister unto thee. They're going to minister unto thee. Read. This is the most high speaking prophecy on what's going to happen. Read. For in my wrath I smote thee. Who did God smote in His wrath? Israel. He said, in my wrath I smote you. Meaning what? You broke my commandments, therefore I put curses on you, right? But read. But in my favor uh -huh. have I had mercy on thee. In my favor, he said he had mercy on us. Come on. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. Uh -huh. They shall not be shut day nor night. Read. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Read. And th that their kings may be brought for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. God said the nation and kingdom that will not serve the Israelites is going to perish. Read on. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Come on. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. Mm. The fir tree and pine tree and the box together. Come on. To All the goods, everything that they own, read. To beautify the place of my sanctuary. To beautify the place of his sanctuary. Go back, watch this. Give me Isaiah 14. Bring it out. Isaiah 14, we're going to start at verse 1. The Bible is redundant. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Come on. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. He's going to have mercy on Jacob, talking about our people, the nation of Israel. Read. And will yet choose Israel. Come on. And set them in their own land. Is he going to set everybody in that land? And set them in their own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. What happened when we left out of Egypt? We got, we got to they didn't want to listen to, they to, listen to Moses. Right. They didn't want to listen to Moses. And we left out of Egypt, right? Before they didn't listen. Do you know the strangers cleaved unto us? Remember the mixed multitude that came with us? Do you know what their position was in, in, in uh, Israel? Servants. Servants. Why is it? Is that, is that wrong? So why is it when I say it now, y'all looking at me like, oh no, did you? They gonna be servants again. That's the way God had it set up. But watch this. Oh, hold on. Let's finish this. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They go cleave to the house of Jacob. The other nations are read. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Come on. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're gonna what? Shall possess them. When you possess somebody, what do you, what does that mean? That means. We own them, right? Read on. In the land of the Lord uh -huh. for servants. We're going to take them in the land of the Lord for servants, read. And handmaids. And handmaids. That's going to be their job. That's what they're going to do. That's like you fine. are now. All of our people, we are at the bottom of the totem pole. Read on. And they shall take them captives. Wait a minute. It says, and they, talking about the Israelites, shall take them captives, read. Whose captives they were. We're going to take the people that we were slaves to. We're going to take them as slaves. Now, as a black man in America, I don't, know, I don't know how old you are, brother. You look kind of young. How old are you? About 21, 22? 20. Dealing with this nation, understanding all the things that's been put on your back, that should be music to your ears. Right. Looking at your nation, at your people. 
I'm not talking about looking in an individual aspect. I'm talking about looking back at your whole nation and the things that we're going through and they've gone through. This should be music to your ears for the redemption that's going to come to us. God says that everybody that was, you, you were slaves to them, they're going to be your slaves now. Read on. That's right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Hold on, hold on. They're going to do what? And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're going to rule over our oppressors, those that oppressed us. Right. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.